Hey everyone, happy December. I'm Erin, product marketer, a designer, and today I thought I'd go into the office to show you what we have in store for feature updates this month. Let's go. And here we are at the Denver office. If you have followed along with our feature updates over this last year, you've seen that we've done a lot in the realm of scheduling your people and equipment to jobs. Um, and we have a few more for you, but I'm going to hand it off to Matt Lucas who covers this. And luckily he's right across from me. I want to show y'all a couple of new things today. Um, the first thing is, uh, let's say uh, I'm starting my schedule for the week and I realize, hey, Erin, I was supposed to be a general laborer, but today I really need her to run a machine. And I'm just going to be able to click this pencil right next to Erin's name and I can change her role. Uh, I can change that to the machine operator just for today or every shift going forward. So making uh, scheduling updates uh, is that much faster. So I'll just switch her for the day just for fun. The second feature I'd really like to show you is um, how you can make sure uh, basically who's in charge on the job site for each of these shifts. All right, so if I zoom in again, you can see that for this general laborer, um, I see Matt Solomon. He, I really want him to be in charge today. So if I click this pencil, I can set him as the project supervisor. And what that's gonna do is make Matt the project supervisor for this project. So anytime he's scheduled, he will uh, have this blue badge that shows he's gonna be in charge. He's gonna be able to fill out our site diary uh, and timesheets on behalf of his crew. So we also have updates in the realm of integrations as well. But to hear about those, we're gonna head over to Houston and hear from Christina herself. Howdy. I'm gonna talk to you about a few features we have coming to Assignar this month. First off, we've got account codes. Now, account codes have been around for a while. You've been able to attach them to roles. Now you can attach those same account codes to a project. So you can see on the new project screen right here. And for extra bonus, our customers who are using the zero integration can go in here to integrations and you're able to bring your tracking IDs over into a signar automatically as account codes. And if you choose to add those to projects and include them on your timesheets, syncing back over into zero, then you'll be able to allocate costs um, by those tracking IDs in zero pretty easily. As we can see here, it's just a simple checkbox to say that the tracking item is required and we'll get those all synced up for you. In addition, we've added some new features for our Acumatica integration. We're rolling out pay type support, which will add overtime rules to Acumatica, along with a couple big features that people have been waiting for, along with just some additional functionality uh, to our public API. Some really fun, exciting stuff. Thanks, y'all. This month, we've added a feature that many of you have asked for, the ability to uh, export a record of your weekly timesheets. So just go to the weekly tab of the timesheets page, click the print button, and Assigner will generate a PDF of all these workers' times. Uh, this will take a moment or two to, to generate. And when it's done, you'll see a document like this. Each page shows one worker's timesheets, including breaks and overtime, if you're using that, uh, and the worker's signature. You can print this out, you can give a copy to your workers, or store it for your record keeping. Uh, this feature is available for all customers using our new time tracking today. And that's everything for our December product update. I'm heading home after a long day of announcing these features, but join us next month where we'll have an even bigger release for you. So look forward to that and we'll see you then. Bye.